Hello my Linnet Things family and friends. Welcome back to the channel guys. So happy to see y'all. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Your girl got a haul of so many different name brand items. Well not so many. It's not a lot y'all. Sorry just a shiny. But honey I walked into my Dollar Tree today and almost lost my mind. Yeah I couldn't even record in the store. I was so excited with all the new Fine. So I had to bring the new new to you guys. So get comfortable. Let's check out what I found. And while y'all getting all comfortable, welcome into all my subbies. I'm so happy to see you guys back. If you um, have been with me from the very beginning, thank you, thank you. I so love you. And if you're brand new here, I'm laying with linen things, and I do Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree reviews, Dollar Tree walkthroughs. I love me some Ray Dunn. I do the little decor around here. So I do a lot of things, y'all. So that is why I am um, named my channel Lynn and Things because you just never know what next thing I may do. Um, so y'all, um, I got my little goodie bag here or um, treasure bag like Pamela would say, but I DIY this one myself. So this one is a Dollar Tree bag, but I had another little Mickey face that I had um, just laying around. So your girl put it on one of the Dollar Tree cotton bags, but let's find out what's in this bag, y'all. I was, oh, so excited, y'all. So I'm not going in any order, but I'm just grabbing out the bag. So the first item, uh, I literally just saw Marina showing this in the store and I was like, what is that? For one, is this packaging not like just, I don't even know what to call it. It's so beautiful, right? It just looks expensive to me. It is called Quiet and Roar. It is a body wash. It has lavender and spirilla in it. Y'all, look at that. And it says there are no uh, parabens, no dyes, no phylates. There are essential oils in this and it is cruelty free. By Peter, y'all, okay? Oh my gosh, look at that. So this says um, sights to see. I mean, it does give you sights. Like, you see that? You see like the woods. I feel like you see like stars. It's beautiful, um, but it says sense to smell and texture to touch. So these three things are in this body wash, y'all. Oh, I like that. Sense, to, I mean, I'm sorry, sights to see. Um, so it's like three sights to relax your mind, it says. Sense to smell, unwind with the scent of lavender and spirilla, and then texture to touch. Feel the pressures of life wash away as you relax using this y'all when i looked at the bottom of this so this one is you can tell probably like clear but it looked thick to me y'all so i was like this is promising because you know the soap if it's kind of thick mm -hmm, look at that y'all oh my gosh i can smell the lavender so good the only thing is this one is giving me it's it's giving me lavender and I feel like a scent of something, I don't know, like a little manly, I don't know, like a cologne. That's what it's smelling like. I can smell the, so the spirulina, uh, however you say that, y'all, must have that scent. You know I love me some lavender. So I'm definitely getting the lavender. This is thick. This is promising, y'all. So I grabbed the Quiet and Roar um, in this scent. And then, y'all, they had another scent. This one is Coconut plus banana uh, milk scent. And here we go again, look at that y'all. Uh, let's see what this one smells like. So same thing with the sights, the smell and the touch. Um, this one says smooth or soothe, lather and soothe. Let's see what this one smell like. Ooh, this one smells so fresh and clean. You do get the banana. I'm not getting much coconut though, hold on. I don't know. It could be. It's something a little sweet. That could be the coconut, but it's not just giving me coconut. I am getting the banana and just something so clean about this one. I cannot wait to try these and let y'all know. But the bottles are just gorgeous. They they are art in themselves. I'm love, love, loving this packaging. Just looking at this. Sit this in your bathroom. Uh, y'all it's just like yeah like i said this one this is nice these are really really nice i think these are very promising and for a dollar 25 y'all rack up if you see these i can't wait to try them i love it it's the packaging y'all for me it's the packaging um and this was another item i have not seen in my dollar trees or anybody hauling so this is by plungeroo there is a little kangaroo up top there <laughs> i don't know if you can see it but it says it is a sink and drain plunger Y'all see this? 
I've never seen that. This is new to me. So I guess, you know, you hold it by this. And like, how many times have your kitchen sink or bathroom sink or even the tub that you needed to plunge real quick? How handy is that? Especially for a kitchen sink. Absolutely love this for $1.25. I need to look these things up, y'all. So this one says uh, it's for sinks, tubs, and showers. Just like I was just explaining. What? Yeah, y'all. That's new. I have never seen that before. So happy to find that. Y'all, this is all name brand. Everything I'm pulling out of here. And y'all, this next item, I have been seeing people show literally as of late though, um, that there are different goalie gummies. Now, I have run into the 30 counts of the Super Greens, the 30 count of the Apple Cider Vinegar. Sitting here today and I watched Tish's video. Y'all, why does she find an apple cider vinegar not with 30, not with 60? Her bottle that she found had 120 gummies in it. Has anybody else out there, stores, been carrying a bottle with 120? Oh, I would have fell out if I was Tisha if I saw that. What? Come on, Goldie. But I say I'll let to say this. I've seen you guys and some other guys like Denise from Denise's Halls and um, my girl, um, oh my goodness, I just saw her, Lady C from Lady C Lifestyles, showing the new goalie gummies. Y'all, these are not gummies. These are bites. So these are goalie bites. This is the one called Calm. You get five, 25 chews in here. And this one says it reduces stress and promotes relaxation yes y'all improve quality of sleep and more what do you see this i could not even imagine how much these cost in the store but i'm sure 125 is not it and then these are good till september 2023 so we have a little while to get through these and we we definitely will um this one it sounds like you know one that you would take you know as needed but y'all that's not the only one so we got that one Calm down. I know. I know. Yes. We was all excited. This one is the multivitamin. Look at that. These are so cute. They look like little candy bites. <laughs> um, they look like they have like caramel in them and something else. But this one is, like I said, a multivitamin one. So you're getting vitamin A, C, D, E, uh, vitamin B6. You're getting um, biotin. Y'all, need I name more? What? So your girl picked up a couple of these uh, multivitamins. So cool. I, I can't believe it. My, my store had so many. And then there is another one that looks like this with energy. I didn't pick up the energy, but I did pick up a couple of these um, multivitamins. And then I did grab a calm for just in case we need it. But y'all, we on a goalie like kick around here. I don't know what's going on. Um, let me make sure I uh, tell you the date of the other one. So these are both good till September 2023. Like I say, those will probably be going way before September. But yes, y'all. And to be honest, if you, you know, if they're sealed and closed, I really do think they will last us even longer than the dates. Um, I think the gummies, though, some of them end in June. Some, um, I want to say somewhere around that, but Oz will be gone before that. But I am hoping to run into some of the 60 count, but 120? I don't know about that. Tish, y'all stuff, y'all store was lucky to get that. I've never seen that. Okay, guys, so our next name brand item. So I did find the Z Quill Cool Nights Pure Z's. What? So it says it reduces night sweats. It supports your natural sleep pattern. It does have melatonin plus black cohash and hibiscus in this. And so there is... um. It says it's designed with melatonin to help you fall asleep faster, made with clinically guided dose of black cohosh, and it contains hibiscus, which is a complementary botanical used by multiple cultures around the world for centuries, guys. Um, I wanted to say I had read on here somewhere that it, it, it does not have any, um, me not melatonin, I'm trying to think of the word, let me see. I had read that it does not have... What is it called? I'm not sure. I can't think of the name. I don't see it now, though. But uh, it does have melatonin, so it does help. So, like, if you do have night sweats, 
I really don't have night sweats, but I just thought this was a great pickup for a dollar twenty-five by Night Quill. Pure Z's, you know, I think it still can help. But if you do for your own personal summers, grab some of these up while you can. Our date for this is December 2023. So you got quite a while to have these in your um pantry, I mean your cupboard, you know, uh cabinets and things like that. Okay, y'all, we, we still moving, we still moving. Next, y'all, look at this. So this is the yes to tomatoes. Yes, y'all. I am absolutely loving this top. This is a daily blemish. I don't know if I can show it. Y'all, my light's so bright. Bring it back, maybe. There you go. Daily blemish toner with uh, charcoal to detoxify. You know I saw charcoal, and that's all I had to see, right? <laughs> Y'all know I love me some charcoal. So I saw the charcoal on there. This is 95% made natural. Absolutely love that. It says new look. So I don't know if you guys seen at the Dollar Tree the fingernail polish remover where it has that pump top. That's what this is giving me. Yep, I can see the little, you see that? So I guess you would get your little cotton swab and pump, 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 and you know, it'll fill it up. Dab your face, honey. Flip it back closed. What? Come on, Dollar Tree. They are just doing us so right, y'all. So, so right. So we have that by Yes2. And then another item that I found by Yes2. Yes, y'all. I hit the jackpot in this store. I was just throwing things in the basket, really. So we got some uh, Yes2 Watermelon Daily Facial Scrub for all skin types, it says. And this is new. This is 95% as well, made natural. What? I want to see. I'm going to have to open it, though, because I'm pretty sure this is closed. Oh, y'all. Because I want to smell it. It's plastic on it, so mm. that's a good thing because that means it's sealed. I don't have any scissors near me, y'all. Why, why do I want to smell this? I love watermelon, though. So that's why. Oh, it feels like there's like a little... Yep, it is. So it does have plastic on it, guys. Let's see. Ooh. It smells like watermelon, but it's not like really strong. But it does give you some watermelon scent. Okay. Yes, too. Daily facial scrub for all skin types. Y'all, everything I have pulled out has been name brand. I got, got a couple more, got a couple more. Y'all, look at this. So the Colgate is back with those beautiful tops. So we am gonna show you the side. We did get some of these, ooh, some couple of months ago. Um, and I'm still working on one of these now. Um, I'm trying to see which one we already had. So we've had the green and the blue. I've never seen this one though. So this is for sensitivity and this is like the red box. Never seen it. These are dropping in our Dollar Trees again. Grab these up when you see these. Colgate, these were, at, uh, I think when I found the first set, when we got the green and the blue, they were still sold in Walgreens for eight bucks. No, I was in Target. Target had it for eight bucks. There you go. Pick them up for $1.25. So they had this one for sensitivity. And then they also had this one, which is giving me rose gold. I'm loving this. This is called Deep Clean. But the little, if you can see that there, it looks rose gold to me. And then this looks kind of like rose gold and blue. So, yeah, this repels enamel, repairs enamel, um, and is deep clean. What? Are you guys seeing all of these name brands? Oh, my gosh. Like, I cannot believe it. And then uh, just one more small item. I did pick up some more of these uh, day liners. Y'all. Well, I'll get y'all, I'll talk to y'all about... You know, what I feel about these products and my review, which is coming really, really soon. I definitely have to do a Dollar Tree review, but I really liked these and I had to pick up another one. These um, are so good. Like you open the package, it does say that it is infused with lavender and aloe. When you open this package, you smell the lavender. It is so calming and soothing. But again, we will get into how these work um, when I do my review. Like I say, coming really, really soon. So I just grabbed another one of these. But y'all see all my finds do you see all the name brand finds you know that this is probably over 60 to 70 bucks worth of items that i paid about 10 12 bucks for yeah you better run to your dollar trees honey save your dollars and run to dollar tree check them out first so that is all i have for my little awesome and amazing haul but y'all know we coming to the end 
close to the end of Women's History Month. So I got to share a story with you guys really, really quickly. Remember um, this book that I have called Red Girls Can. Um, and they're short stories about young ladies who have made history in some type of way in their um, town, in their state, in their schools, or in life in general. So today's story, we're going to be reading about a young lady named Marley Diaz, and this is her. So remember, these reads are about three to four minutes um, long. Not that long. But let's find out what Marley did and how she made history. So this one says that Marley was born in West Orange, New Jersey in 2003, guys. 11-year-old Marley Diaz loved to read. That's me, y'all. I love to read. <laughs> She loved getting lost in a great story, imagining new worlds, and learning new things. But the more books she read, the more she noticed that most of the main characters, especially in classic books, were boys. Mostly white boys, and sometimes white boys with dogs. Marley didn't mind reading about boys and dogs, or wizards, or unicorns, or fairies. But as a young black girl, she also wanted to see someone like herself as the main character. She wanted to imagine herself as the hero. Nothing wrong with that, Marley. Um, you don't have to be very old to start trying to fix the problems you see in the world around you. Marley decided to do something about it. She began by doing research to see if anyone else had noticed this problem. She learned that less than 10% of children's books published in 2015 had a black person as the main character. Wow. And of 3,400 children's books published that year, fewer than 100 were about Latino characters. And even though children's books have gradually become more diverse, many libraries have only older books that don't reflect this shift. Diversity in books benefits everyone. It gives us a broader understanding of who we are as a nation and a world. Almost half of the children in the United States are children of color. So why should almost all the books be about white kids? Marley wanted more diverse books to be available for everyone. So she started a campaign to collect and donate a thousand books about black girls. So more girls like herself would have access to books that reflected their experiences. She was excited about her new idea. But how exactly would she get all those books? She decided to use social media and spread the message with the hashtag, hashtag black girl books. And it worked. Frustration is fuel that can lead to the development of an innovative and useful idea. Within months, Marley's campaign got the attention of writers, librarians, booksellers, and other people across the country. And the books began pouring in. Journalists wrote stories about her, and soon Marley had more than 4,000 books to donate. That is awesome, y'all. She had exceeded her goal, but Marley was just getting started. She continued to collect books up to nearly 10,000, y'all, created a resource guide for educators, and used her newfound media attention to speak to broad audiences about the importance of diversity in kids' books. She even got to interview Hillary Clinton and edit her own online zine for Elle magazine. And eventually, the girl who loved books got to write and publish her own book, A Guide to Activism, when she was just 12 years old. Ah, that gave me goosebumps, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. Uh-oh, it's amazing what you can do when you get an idea. Um, and when you have others that can help you to reach those goals, uh, there's nothing that can stop us, nothing. Thank you guys so much for coming for this awesome, awesome Dollar Tree and a little bit of uh, story time with Lynn. I definitely enjoy you guys. Please don't forget to hit that like. That is so very important. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And if you're new here, go and binge watch some of the older videos. Um, yeah, get to know me. See how I started. Um, and then it's a lot, y'all. So it's a lot. A lot of Dollar Tree hauls and just different kind of videos. Go back and watch. And if you um been with me more while and you're missing some videos, go back and binge watch what you missed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Much love, guys.